What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. I'm here with Miss Spanko today actually, but she's not the star of the show today. <laughs> today, we're actually at Costco and you guys are gonna see that in a second. And for the first time ever, I've never actually heard of this before because Costco does a lot of Pokemon products, but they're doing a Yu-Gi-Oh product for the first time ever. I've never seen a Yu-Gi-Oh product at Costco and it's a Costco exclusive item. So we're gonna go in there. We're gonna just kind of hope that they're in there and if they are then you guys are going to see this video if they're not then i guess you guys will never see this hopefully we can go in find the very first Yu-Gi-Oh exclusive costco exclusive i can't speak right now the very first costco exclusive Yu-Gi-Oh product let's get in there let's go so we're here at costco and i'm gonna be honest costco on weekends is so busy but it doesn't look too bad right now so let's go in there and then hopefully we can find the Yu-Gi-Oh set that we're looking for i've never seen a Yu-Gi-Oh product in costco but hopefully today's the day where we find some Yu-Gi-Oh cards at Costco. All right, so we're coming up to them now. They're actually only $25 Canadian, and that's insane value because you're getting a ton of stuff in this. So you get a Mega Tin, you get three packs, and then you get some sleeves. This is kind of insane, actually. And this is all for 25 bucks Canadian, which is like maybe 19 or $20 USD. And there's a lot of them, as you guys can see. So if you guys are ever going to Costco, there's way more than you're ever going to need. I think I'm going to grab two of them so we can actually open them up on the channel. And here's my fiance, who's uh, a little upset with me with, uh, for spending my money on this. But we got two of them. You're getting both? Yeah, we're getting both. Yeah. We got to get out of here. And then once we head back to the studio, aka my bedroom, we can open them up and see what we pull. No, no, put it back. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'll see you guys when we get back. The next day. So we're back in the studio. It's actually a few days later. Me and my fiance went out, so I didn't get the chance to film. But we got one and two of these Costco exclusive boxes to open up for you guys. And you guys can take a quick look at what's inside. So you guys are going to get one of the brand new Megaton, the 25th anniversary Megaton. You're going to get a pack of sleeves. And then you're going to get three random booster packs. But when I took a look, it looks like they're all the same booster packs. So it's all Power of the Elements. Tactical Masters and I think uh, Battles of Chaos. So that's pretty cool. I mean, 25 bucks for you guys who are American and don't know. $25 is actually really good for this because a tin in Canada goes for about 20 to 22 on its own. And that's before tax, of course, right? So 20 to 22, and then you're pretty much getting all of these. If, if you think about the price, you're getting all these packs and the sleeves basically for free, right? The only thing I would say with the Costco packaging, although I do like this like artwork here, the little hieroglyphics, is it's pretty hard to open up and it's a lot of cardboard for nothing. So first things first, we get these sleeves over here. Cool sleeves. I mean, they are really nice. I'm not gonna lie, I do like these for extra deck, but they're not, of course, the best quality sleeves, Konami sleeves. We do get the tin over here and let's pull out our last three packs so we get three packs over here and that's it you guys can see the rest of it is literally just cardboard so with that being said let's open this stuff up just before we get into our second one this is our first one over here let's see what we can pull now we did open a couple of the tins i didn't open like a full case like i typically do with tins just because i was uh, waiting for the rarity collection this year however i still think these tins are pretty cool i completely forgot about these we got elemental hero neos as a starlight rare or as a quarter century rare i should say and that's such a beautiful card so i was gonna say the really cool thing about these tins you have stuff like that you have the pet mega packs of course and the mega packs this year are pretty good you have some pretty decent stuff in the mega packs but actually before we get into the mega packs let's get into these packs first because i think the mega packs are actually just always going to guarantee us some sort of hit with these packs you never really know what you're going to pull right so let's see what we can pull here we got a uh, scion the valence archer compulsory evacuation device and then for our super rare we got valence world all right i think that's all we're going to get scapegoat labyrinth cuckoo clock and then archfiend and back jack okay so with tactical masters i mean there are some staples you guys saw compulse was in there um there's also crs in there pulling a cr would be really nice but moving on to our next pack here it's battles of chaos i've actually never opened battles of chaos i know there's that dark magician in here that's uh, pretty valuable that's a card that i wouldn't mind pulling honestly i think that would be pretty cool we got ghost trick siren we got a dark this is a really good super rare one of the better super rares of course i think this also comes in starlight rare which would be super sick if we were able to pull a starlight rare very unlikely though but a dark is a really good super rare here and then a mind hacker okay we got power of the elements here this is the unlimited though so the other two packs were first edition power of the elements was one of the very few sets that randomly got an unlimited print but there are still some pretty cool cards in this set i would say that uh that people still want. I think they're still meta relevant and whatnot, right? Gigantic Sprite Ultra Rare. This still being a really powerful card. And this is actually a really nice pull. One of the better pulls of the set, actually. So I'm actually excited about Gigantic Sprite. That caught me off guard. Ultra Rare. That's actually pretty good. Like, that's pretty good. On our three packs, we hit a Dark, which is a 
pretty good staple in a lot of decks and a lot of decks that play dark monsters at least and then a gigantic sprite of course which is a staple in any level two deck really but uh sprite is still a very relevant deck right now all right let's get into the megatons though let's see what we can pull from these costco exclusive megaton packs stars align liberal mancer release i'm sure you guys are not here for the commons whatsoever you guys are here for the rare which is our endless engine we got a super rare frecky we got an ultra rare runic allure. Oh, I forgot, you get two ultra rares, right? Yeah. Stealth Burgia is our second, and then we get two secret rares. Let's see what we can pull for our secret rare. Arian, Arian, Ariane, Arian, whatever. The Labyrinth Servant. That's a pretty good Starlight, Starlight, secret rare, I should say. And Rite of Aramisir. That's another good secret rare. I would say that's a really good pack. That is a very solid pack over here. You guys can see the rest of the comments, but that's actually two really good secret rares to pull out of our very first pack. Let's see what else we can pull. Now, I've actually heard there was, uh, actually not that I've heard, I have some of these cards, but some of the Megatons have misprints where they have no names on the cards and that'd be kind of cool. I mean, very unlikely we pull that, but that would be kind of cool to pull some kind of misprint or some kind of like crazy cards like that. Oh, funny enough, actually, I am looking for a lot of the cash share cards from uh, the tin. So I wouldn't mind pulling those. We got an Epsilon for our rare. We got Ethereum Bull and for our super. S-Force Lapis Well. Camelot. We got a Labyrinth Labyrinth. This is just a Labyrinth Megaton. And then we got a Skeletal, Skeletal Dragon Felgrand. Okay, that's a pretty cool card. I think it actually looks really nice in this rarity. I feel like because of the uh, rarity collection, people kind of forgot about the prismatic rare. I actually think the prismatic rare is actually a really nice rarity that uh, I feel like people are just not talking about right now just because the rarity collection is all the hype. But I think it's actually really nice compared to just your regular secret rare, right? So I think these are pretty cool. Oh, wait, speaking of prismatic secret, I completely forgot the um, Bistial stuff is in here. That would be good pulls. Jewish Worm I know is pretty valuable. We got a moon as a rare. Fire Opal Head for our Super Rare. This is actually pretty good if you're playing uh, the Ground Xeno Dinos. We got Reaper Fume, Therion, Dinomorphia Domain, Ultra Rare. We got a Lady Labyrinth. Bro, this is a Labyrinth Mega Pack. Like, what's going on? And then we got a Black Winged Assault Dragon. That's pretty cool. But we got a Lady Labyrinth. We got a Labyrinth Labyrinth. We got an Ariane. Like, what is this telling me? Is this telling me to become a Labyrinth player? Oh, by the way, why is this in the set, by the way? This is such an old card. Why would they reprint it in this Mega Tin? That's so random. But I would say for our very first exclusive Costco tin, that was pretty good. I mean, we got some pretty good cards here. Red of Aramis here, Lady Labyrinth, Ariane. But now we got our second one. I'm just going to open this up because it's pretty tough to open up and then I'll be back in a minute. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, so as per usual, we have our three packs, the same three packs. We also have our pack of sleeves over here. I'm just going to move the sleeves to the side. And then we got the Mega Tin, which I'm going to open up right now. And I was just thinking about it. You know what I'm missing from the Mega Tin? One of the very few Starlights I wasn't able really to get my hands on. I think I have one, but I'm looking for a playset. Is Cyber Dragon. So hopefully we can get a Cyber Dragon for this tin because that would be kind of insane. All right, let's see. If actually, you know what? Let's make it a surprise. Let's make it a surprise. Let's flip it upside down. We got this over here. Let's get this tin away. And then we got our three packs, of course, of the Mega Pack as well as... Oh, okay. It's not a Cyber Dragon, but this is a really good one. Black Rose Dragon. I would say Neos and Black Rose Dragon as our two uh, quarter century rares from the tins are actually pretty solid, I would say. Black Rose especially because uh, it was a card that is used in Edison or is a card that's used in Edison. So it's actually holding value pretty well. So I'm actually pretty excited about that one. But let's get into our Tactical Masters pack over here. We got a Pendulum Switch, Compulse, uh, Fair Welcome Labyrinth, Scapegoat. We got a Hugin Ultra Rare. That's Yo, our pulls today have been actually really good, I would say. Hugin Ultra Rare is really powerful from, from Tactical Masters, the very original set that it came from. I mean, if we pulled that before the Mega Ten reprints, I mean, that would be a pretty valuable card. Now, not so valuable, but still a very powerful card, a very nice card to pull. We got a Doll Master. This is our Battles of Chaos. Okay, so again, very unlikely, but pulling that Dark Magician would be insane. And I think Dark Magician, we have a reversion as a super rare. Dark Magician, I think, would be the last card in the pack, which is kind of crazy from what I've seen. And we don't have a Dark Magician. Let's get into our next pack. There, I, I didn't think we were going to pull it by me. It would have been cool if we did. Didn't think we were going to. The odds of doing that are very, very slim. I think that card is actually extremely hard to pull. I haven't seen one very often. I don't see them for trade or for sale very often. We got an Ice Jade, uh, Gadget Gamer. This is Pote, of course, again. A Grand Tusk Dragon. Okay, so this... This tin or this deluxe edition Costco, whatever exclusive, has not been as good to us. I mean, the Hugin's still a good pull, 
But we didn't get like a dark and a sprite, right? But, but, but there's a chance these tins make up for it. Let's get a Bistial. Let's get a Druid Swarm. Druid Swarm is, I think, the most valuable card in the set. Maybe, I think it might be Fenrir. Fenrir and Druid Swarm are the two most valuable cards in the Mega Tins. So that would be really cool. We got a Maze in the Battle Ninja. Soul Scissors as a super rare. We got a Magicor Warrior of the Relics as our Ultra. Time Thief Power Reserve. I'm pretty sure this is a TCG exclusive, which is really cool. We got a Visa Star Frost. This is actually really nice. Manadium is one of those really powerful decks right now. So I think a Visa Star Frost is a really good secret rare over here. And I really like the Prismatic Secret. And then we got an Exo Sister Stella as our second secret rare over here. That's it for the commons. Now let's get into, we got two more packs actually. I thought it was the last pack. We got two more packs. Let's see what we can pull. Hopefully, hopefully we hit something crazy. Hopefully, a lot of these cards actually have gone down in value. So value-wise, there's not too, too much value in here. But I mean, again, a Fenrir would be crazy. A Druid Swim would be crazy. But honestly, I wouldn't mind hitting the Kastro stuff because that's what I'm personally looking for, right? We got a Hashikin Kyoto Spirit. Kyoto? Kyoto? I think I said that right. Dynamorphia Frenzy. Immortal Dragon as an Ultra Rare. Kastro Preparations and Ultra Rare is a really good one. We got a spell in the back, though. What, what could the spell be? Therion Disc Coliseum, that is a good one. That is a good one. Definitely a really good, powerful card in Therion. And another Labyrinth Labyrinth. You know what? Technically, I feel like people play... Do people play play set of this? Do people play three? Do people play one? How many Labyrinth do people play in Labyrinth? How many Labyrinth Labyrinth do people play in Labyrinth? I don't know. But I don't mind getting a second one. That's a pretty good card still. Thunder Discharge. This is our last pack, by the way. Let's see what we can pull in our final pack. We got a Predator Plant here. Fair Welcome Labyrinth. Branded Beast is a rare. That's actually a really powerful rare. Mole Cricket Super Rare is actually really nice. We got a Maple Maiden. Ethereon Reaper Fume, actually, the last two cards, so this is our Fume, the last two cards are going to be the Secret Rares, let's put them aside, let's see what we pull for our commons over here, okay, so, our last two cards, we're going to flip them over one by one, the first Secret Rare is a Regulus, that is a very powerful Secret Rare, I'm not mad, we got a Disc Coliseum and a Regulus in the same tin, that's really, really powerful, and then our last Secret Rare from our Mega Tins, is a Hugin. Oh my god, the runic cards love me. We pulled two Hugins today. We pulled the Ultra Rare from Tactical Masters, and then we pulled the reprint from the Mega Tins. I am not actually upset with this at all. I mean, of course, this Coliseum and Regulus are really powerful, of course, if you're ever playing those Cyber Dragon decks, those Therion decks. There's a lot of decks that can tech those in, right? Then we got the Labyrinth cards over here. So Lady, we got Double Labyrinth Labyrinth. We got an Ariane here, of course. And then we got so many other powerful cards here as well. We got Rider Maramis here, Visa, Star Frost, Gigantic Sprite. I would say these tins did not disappoint point and for 24 bucks or 25 bucks this is actually very much valuable i mean think about it the tins are like 20 bucks on their own in canada and then you got a pack which is between three to five dollars per pack let's say on the lower end it's four let's go in the middle it's four bucks per pack four times three is 12 bucks plus 20 dollars tin that's 32 dollars plus a pack of sleeves which is usually going to run you three to four bucks so you're getting 35 or 36 maybe 37 dollars worth of value for 25 bucks i would say it's very much worth it and especially with the mega tin promos you're going to get a lot of your money back so i think this is actually a really good value and if you guys have a costco near you i would definitely go and get one of these i think they're pretty cool and it's really fun to open but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we do pack openings deck profiles combo videos all that good stuff it's right here on the channel so make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned into all of that we also upload seven days a week yes you heard it right seven days a week you guys get five shorts a week and at least two long videos a week so that's seven However, we might get more, right? You guys get, might get more videos. You guys might get eight, nine, 10 videos in a single week. Make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned for all that. I appreciate every single one of you. With that, it's Vanko signing out. Peace.